uh, of the Roman. The floor is yours if you can share your screen. Okay. So, uh, did you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you properly. Okay. Uh, this paper, it's uh, it's uh, ongoing PhD research that I'm doing in Cardiff University. So uh, this is it's I think it's it's the last uh, piece of the uh, research uh, at the PhD research. So modeling the relationship between ground and building using 3D architecture topology models utilizing uh, graph uh, machine learning. So uh, 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 this is the authors, uh, me itself, uh, which is a PhD student at Cardiff, and my two supervisor, uh, first supervisor, uh, Professor Wasim Jabi, and Deva. Uh, she's she's explained that who's who is the uh, Wasim Jabi, and then we have also as a third supervisor, Badridge Cornier, which is a senior lecturer in in uh, computer uh, in the graph machine learning. So. Uh, give you a really a historical overview uh, the relationship between building and ground it's changed and uh, these change it's starting from uh, uh, Poledou when he started to put the building above the uh, dirt and then uh, Frank Lloyd Wright and Lee, uh, 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 Lee Corbusier when he separated the building from the ground. And then after uh, the CAD, uh, it's coming and uh, parametric design uh, coming. So now the relationship between building and the ground, it's become more sophisticated. You can see here, Reem Collas when he in turn the ground inside the building and Reem Collas also here when he entered the, the ground inside his library. And uh, if we can manage Zaha Hadid, uh, 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 the, uh, the museum in Azerbaijan, which is the envelope, it's become the new, uh, build, uh, new ground. Uh, so uh, the building ground relationship, it's, 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 a tra it's a start and uh, it's become more complex in, in recent uh, uh, hundred years. So uh, in my literature review, I try to uh, uh, diagram and capture all the relationship between uh, building and ground. And uh, but we found that uh, there is three main relationship between building and ground, which is the adherence and separation and interlock. And all these other forms of the relation, it's fit into one of these large or main uh, building uh, ground uh, relationships. So we focus in this paper in it also in my dissertation into the three main uh, relationship and the one uh, 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 detailed uh, relationship, which is still underneath the uh, main uh, relationship. So uh, doing a literature review, uh, we found that uh, some researchers focus in uh, 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 feature recognition of the 3D modeling. So they try to capture the 3D modeling using an image or using a 2D snapshot. Uh, uh, and this is still uh, has a limitation of it's still not capturing uh, the 3D dimensional information uh, embedded into the space. So also uh, some to uh, 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 propose the method uh, to uh, transfer the really complex mechanical and electrical and plumbing system into diagrams and into the graph diagrams. And a uh, house uh, GAN, which is uh, in 2020 house GAN and 2021 uh, house GAN++, plus plus also use similar approach to, uh, uh, to uh, have uh, the bubble diagrams and transfer mm -hmm. the bubble diagrams into a design, but it's still uh, 2D uh, 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 problems is not uh, uh, 3D uh, problems. So uh, uh, 
uh, in, in conclusion, uh, most machine learning systems rely into 2D uh, uh, pixel image uh, recognition. So if we have an image, they start to pixelate this image and give it to machine learning, and machine learning we will uh, do the uh, 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 classification or any uh, task. But in the building ground relationship, it's really hard for the machine learning and also for the human to uh, understand the relationship from the image. For example, this one, it's, it's, it's easy, it's separation and it looks easy, but something like this, it's harder also for the human. You can see here it's interlock, but what it's coming behind the, the uh, uh, I don't know if you, if you saw my, uh, my uh, mouse, but what it's behind the, the building. So uh, we need a 3D, uh, 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 3D uh, topological model to understand the relationship between building and ground, not only uh, an image. So uh, our contribution is from image-based to graph-based learning. So uh, we, it's really hard also uh, because we don't have a data set available and it's really hard to model uh, uh, all these issues because we need uh, big data in machine learning, so it's really hard to model this issue. Even if we have the 3D data available, it will time consuming to uh, simplify these models and get rid of, of these glasses and rid of, of the all uh, 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 unneeded uh, heavy loaded uh, uh, material. So hmm. what we did, we tried to do a, a 3D scientific data set. So we come up with uh, a, a building ground scientific data set. We create a rules for us that, uh, first of all, we uh, have 500 example. And from these collected 500 example, we try to generate a rules for us from these 500 uh, uh, examples. So uh, we give like the ground rules. We can have flat ground and we can have slope uh, ground, which is uh, topor topological uh, 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 ground. And then for the columns rules, we can have small columns uh, the building rest into small columns or building rest into medium columns or building rest into uh, large uh, uh, columns. For uh, building and planes and core rules, uh, the building it can be like uh, 6 by 6 or 6 by 12 or 12 by 12 or 6 by 12 in another direction. Also, the uh, uh, planes, it has exact same rules and then the core it's simply uh, it's in the center of the building, so it's it, it's just imposed in the center of the uh, building. Uh, after that, uh, we use uh, topologic to uh, embedded the graph inside uh, to transfer this uh, geometry into topology, and then embedded the graph inside the topology, and then we use uh, DGCNN, Deep Graph Convolution and Neural Network, to, uh, you, to, to classify the relationship between uh, building and ground. So topological is uh, Wasim Jabi uh, 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 software uh, library, and that enhanced the uh, representation of the 3D parametric and uh, generate modeling environmental uh, inside the Grasshopper and Dynamo, and now also it's inside uh, Blender. Uh, and then the DGCNN, it's a, a end uh, to end deep graph uh, neural network. So we have an input graph, and this input graph, it's uh, start to uh, sort pooling and normal uh, neural network, and we will have the uh, output as classes. Uh, it is class one or class two or class three. So uh, the requirement format, the DGCNN, require a text file with, uh, uh, with all these information. So uh, the DGCNN, it it's can uh, uh, classify these issues. So uh, we have here uh, the number, which is N and B. N, it indicates the number of the graph. So we will have 109 nodes inside the graph 
and zero here, uh, which indicate the label. If these uh, 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 graph is uh, uh, if is it a separation or this graph is adherence or any kind of this, and then uh, uh, here we will have two. That mean the labeled of the node two. That mean columns zero. That mean the ground. So here is the ground connect to other four nodes which is 105 7 and 5 and 4 3 which is the building the building connect to six node which is 12 and 3 and 11 and 37 and 14 and 8 so from this uh, x file the dgcnn it can understand the relationship between building and ground and it can perform the task so uh we in using topological we create all uh, 900 uh, data set in, in, in this paper. In my dissertation, it's around 2,500 uh, 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 different uh, building ground relationship. So in our left, we see like separation and separation with the plint. So this is like separated with the columns. So this is the building with the, the pink and the blue, which is uh, core and uh, columns which is in the purple and the flat ground or uh, it's, it's in, in the green uh, so uh, this is separation and separation with the plinth and here we have the interlock so we can see the building it's embedded under the ground and then here the adherence which is mean the building it's just uh, purely sit in the ground so no separation no interlock and then we have adherence with the blend. So the blend, it looks like the blue. Yeah, here it's the blue uh, dotted. So it's blend above the ground. It's a, like a base above the ground. So from this 900 uh, 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 data set, uh, we create this 100, nine, that 900 uh, data set by uh, modeling the geometry and then slicing this geometry. You see it's sliced and then slicing this geometry and embed this slicing into topologic topologic give us the graph inside the the uh, uh, the sliced uh, spaces and then we use uh, python and uh, and collaborate to loop and run this iteration and on the final stage we have a, a final text file which is uh, this uh, text file so we uh, embedded or we feed the machine learning or the TGCNN uh, 900 different text file, which is 900 different graph. And then uh, we divide it to 800 to training and 200 for testing. And then we uh, 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 give it uh, uh, to uh, machine learning and run that into uh, machine learning and it give us uh, a really uh, high accuracy which is around uh, uh, 96 or 95 in between 95 and 96 uh, depend into the hyper parameter that we we, we use uh, and then after we finishing the DGCNN and we classify this DGCNN and then we tested with the 200 tests. So we want to make sure uh, this research is generalizable. Uh, we want to make sure uh, if we give this uh, machine learning to the practicer so they can classify new president so they they their design as a new president so we can we come up with eight different uh, uh, scenario relationship between building and ground and by the way this scenario it's not exactly the 900 uh, 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 data that we already trained the model. It's totally different. So for example, in the scenario number one, we embedded two core in state one core. In scenario number two, we uh, give L-shaped building uh, different than uh, the rectangular building. Here in the scenario three, we give uh, the two different buildings. So one of them is not embedded uh, totally and the other one it's more embedded and the core it's in another one. It's in, in, the, in the bigger uh, building. 
So we try to change uh, a little bit of the rules and we can see that the uh, machine learning predict all these new scenario, all these eight new scenario with uh, true prediction, but it has like a 99.5. Here it has 80, 85 uh, percentage of, of accuracy, and here we have 70%, but it's still they, uh, the machine learning is classify all these different uh, uh, relationship between building and ground or the new scenario between uh, building and ground. In conclusion, uh, 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 this uh, we present here a, a novel proof of concept 3D graph rather than 2D image and then uh, we uh, used the help of uh, topological to uh, run uh, graph inside the, uh, inside the geometry and then uh, our experiment result uh, with the 900 graph mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, around uh, 95.6 and uh, uh, this paper uh, uh, contribute in the model was able to classify new unseen model like we were saying in the last uh, slide and the model successfully predict all the eight scenario with the high prediction uh, uh, accuracy result. So uh, the limitation of the of the of the uh, of the workflow, uh, the paper was uh, limited to a scientific data set that extracted from 500 architecture precedents and uh, is not real data set. And this is this can be our future work to use a really that uh, real data set, and then also. Uh, uh, the real data set it's time consuming and costly so that's why we avoid it to not using it as uh, training but <clears throat> we can use it in the prediction we can use real data set in the prediction and uh, 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 also uh, we need uh, to follow the creation uh, or the rules that created in the uh, 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 in, in the, I can, we saw you the ground rules and the building rules and core, all these rules is need to be <coughs> followed, but you can change the design and the, the, the relationship between building and ground, but we need, we need to follow the, uh, 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 the idea of uh, grid, uh, imposing the grid, the idea of having the core in it, and all these uh, rules. Uh, our future work it's compare this uh, uh, work or workflow with different uh, data set, as we can say, like different building ground relationships. So what's what we, what if we uh, use it into, uh, 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 in the, into for example, uh, environmental uh, issues, not the building ground relationship. So also we need to, uh, uh, because now it's we're doing overall graph classification. What if we we want to do node classification or uh, edge classification? So this is can be uh, investigated in the future. And also uh, we need also to have a system. And this is in my dissertation. It will focus in this kind of thing: a system that recognition topological relationship as a designer construct them suggest president from the visual database. What I mean, after we finishing, after we have uh, uh, these new president, so you <coughs> can have the 500 data set retrieve and show exactly uh, what's the relationship between between building and ground and it's give you example to improve uh, these uh, 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 or the producer uh, design and uh, yeah final thing and we have a fitness function to uh, evaluate uh, uh, the algorithm and generate uh, evaluating uh, design option or different uh, design option so yeah, that's all what I have and thank you for your time.